hurts me to see them miss him so much. They miss him so much. Are JLo's kids okay? With the recent news of her and Ben Affleck's divorce, people are getting concerned for them. It seems like JLo might have a toxic pattern when it comes to her relationships. She always makes her kids befriend the kids of her new boyfriends. But then her relationships always fall apart. And the kids are the ones who suffer. But is that actually what happens? The truth about her kids is finally coming out and you'll never believe it. If you don't know, JLo has two kids. She had twins, Emmy and Max, back in February 2008. She welcomed them with her then husband Mark Anthony. She and Mark have not been together for years but Emmy and Max are both obviously a huge part of JLo's life. They're her children after all and she really cares about them. But not everyone is convinced that she always does what's best for them. At this point people are aware that when JLo and Ben Affleck got back together a few years ago they were really excited about their new blended family. JLo isn't the only one who already had kids. Ben actually has three children. He had them with his ex-wife Jennifer Garner. Their oldest kid is named Violet. They also had Serafina and Samuel later on. This means that when Ben and JLo got back together, their blended family had five kids all together. And the couple made sure that they would all get along. They wanted to bond with them as step parents and they also wanted all the step siblings to have good relationships with each other. This would honestly be pretty admirable and wholesome, except their relationship obviously didn't last. They're now headed for divorce. This must be a pretty difficult time for them. Divorce is never easy, but it's not just the two of them who might be taking this new development hard. Because the kids all grew close, it's possible that they're struggling right now too. And there are actually some pretty big hints that this is exactly what's happening. After the divorce news came out, Ben's daughter Violet was seen wearing a pretty shocking dress. She wore a dress that JLo herself had previously worn. This really seemed like a statement. Was she not ready to let go of her stepmom? That could very well be the case. JLo seems to have a great relationship with Ben's kids. In August, an insider spoke to people and this source claimed that JLo tried really hard to make the relationship work. She's apparently really heartbroken about how it all turned out. And there's one thing she's made clear. The kids are still her top priority despite the divorce. The source told People, just because she's not with Ben doesn't mean that she doesn't care about his kids. She's always cared about them. Apparently, she even spent a very long time looking for the perfect house for their big family. But sadly, her dream of her perfect house and perfect family has now come to an end. Despite her best efforts to bond with the kids, her relationship with Ben just wasn't working. It seems that she still wants to maintain some kind of relationship with the children. But at the same time, how long is that gonna last? Once she and Ben are officially divorced, are they really still going to hang around each other's families? That seems kind of unlikely. There's also the question of how Ben feels. JLo has made it pretty clear that she still cares about his children. But is Ben just as willing to maintain a relationship with Emmy and Max? And how do the children themselves feel? It actually sounds like they might be kind of over it. Despite the fact that they've all grown super close, they're allegedly ready to move on now. One source spoke to page six and they said that all the kids were taking the divorce news pretty well. They are supposedly all ready to just move on. But is that actually the case? Serafina and Emmy especially allegedly got super close. They seemingly created a pretty amazing sibling bond. So how will they cope if they can't see each other anymore? Even if they can still see each other, it probably won't be as often as they've gotten used to. This might become really difficult for them. And it's one of the reasons why people are criticizing JLo right now. Is it possible that she and Ben simply move too fast? If they had taken more time before getting back together and blending their families, maybe their relationship would have been more stable. Or they could have possibly realized sooner that it just wasn't gonna work. They could have saved their kids from all this potential pain, but now it's too late for that. The kids will have to deal with this pretty massive change and only time will tell how well they will be able to cope with that. The sad thing is that this isn't the first time that something like this has happened to JLo's kids specifically. She and Mark Anthony were obviously together when they had had Emmy and Max. They got married in 2004 and had the twins about four years later. For a short while, they seemed like the perfect little family. But unfortunately, things didn't work out between JLo and Mark. The two of them split up in the summer of 2011. At the time, they wrote a joint statement to People. In it, they said, this was a very difficult decision. We have come to an amicable conclusion on all matters. Their divorce was finalized three years later in 2014. At the time, the twins were only six years old. But this is when JLo's rollercoaster 
coaster of a dating life really started. Shortly after she and Mark split up, she started dating Casper Smart. He allegedly really helped her heal. They were together for a few years, but their relationship wasn't exactly stable. They kept breaking up and getting back together. This must have been pretty hard for the kids. In the first few years of their relationship, JLo and Mark's divorce wasn't even finalized yet. Casper and JLo eventually went their separate ways in 2016, but it wasn't long before she got into another relationship. In March 2017, people confirmed that JLo was seeing Alex Rodriguez, aka A Rod. A Rod actually also already had kids. He has two daughters, Natasha and Ella, with his ex wife, Cynthia Skirtis. JLo and A Rod were clearly very serious about each other, and they also seemingly wanted to blend their family. Families. One insider told People that A-Rod was spending a lot of time around J-Lo's family. They also kept posting photos of all their kids on social media. Everything seemed perfect. The kids were happy and so was the couple. A-Rod even proposed to J-Lo in 2019. It looked like they would live happily ever after, but unfortunately that didn't exactly happen. They started planning their wedding, but then the COVID-19 pandemic started. And in April 2021, we found out that things were over between them. Not long after that, J-Lo got back together with Ben. And the rest is history. But the thing is that A-Rod and his kids were a big part of J-Lo and her children's lives. They were also this big blended family. But then it all fell apart pretty quickly. And suddenly the twins were thrown into another similar situation with Ben and his kids. It seems like they adjusted pretty well and got along great with Ben, Violet, Serafina, and Samuel. But it still must have been a pretty huge shock for them. And this is exactly why people are worried about them right now. Are they really ready to move on? Or are they actually secretly devastated that they're about to lose their new step siblings yet again. How many times will something like this happen? What do you guys think? Should JLo have waited longer before introducing her kids to Ben and his children? Why do you think her relationships keep not working out? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.